Hi, this is Amy from the Alti Store. We are here at SPI 2018, and I'm with Kyle from Morningstar, and Howdy. we are showing off their new product. Multi-wave inverter charger. So give me the, uh, the gist, what, what's going on with this? Sure. Well, it's a product we're really excited about. Uh, been in the works for a couple of years now, and finally uh, getting ready to come out the other end of the engineering department. Um, it's a four kilowatt inverter charger, um, rated for up to 60 degrees Celsius, uh, down to minus 40, so a real, wow. uh, real wide operating temperature range, yeah. um, just like you know, just like the Morningstar reliability you're right. used to. Uh, two AC inputs, both grid and genset. Um, an option for all the balance of system you need for up to two charge controllers in integrated. Um, a standard meter interface, uh, and my personal favorite feature, no fans. Just like every other charge controller you used to for Morningstar. Right, so that, that explains this huge heat sink up yeah, there. Yeah, we, we put a lot, of, a lot of work and a lot of design and, and some cost certainly yeah. into the engineering of the uh, aluminum. Um, which is bonded directly to the power electronics stage behind uh, behind the heatsink. Okay. Gives us really good thermal transfer and lets us operate at a high temperature. Nice. Um, even up to 45 C, full rating. That is okay. Full rating. Full rating. Yeah, nice. So tell me about the, the display setup here. Uh, so we decided to include a standard meter, um, included in every model, just so that you don't ever have to worry about adding it as an option. Right. Um, the, the four button interface is similar to what we've designed in some of our charge controllers. Yep. It carries over into this. Um, you, you, don't, you, you will need to use this only briefly during the commissioning process, but most of the setup, I think, will be done through uh, an SD card that can be configured uh, ahead of time, That's nice. brought to the site, standard configuration, and then the meter becomes just an interface to download the settings files. I like that a lot. Yeah. Uh, I think that'll save a lot of time, certainly at the site, no more memorizing menu positions and where to find certain settings, although it's there if you need it, it right, uh, won't right. go away. Fantastic. And so what's going on up here? So we've reserved, there's a DIN rail behind the, the faceplate, um, reserved for what we're calling uh, BOS blocks or, yep. or, or, or logic blocks um, that will add functionality to the product over time. So at launch, We'll include a two-wire dry contact um, gen start module, nice. really an all-purpose module right. just for controlling um, you know, an external device or starting and stopping a simple gen set. Um, in the future, this will expand to include potentially wireless interfaces, Bluetooth or 802.11 Wi-Fi, um, uh, a smart shunt interface to be able to look at total current through the system, um, even you know possibly uh, some more advanced generator control modules and things we haven't thought of yet right. that, we'll, that we'll need. Right. A lithium ion, BMS yeah. interface. Yeah, so it's, it's very modular, so you can just buy right. which components you need. Right. Right. Really uh, nice. You know, Morningstar's never really, uh, we've always felt like we should never force anyone to buy things that they don't need. Yep. Um, if you need it, it's an option. If not, you don't need it. Right. And speaking of, of options, now let's talk about the yes. bottom part. So here. lots of options on the balance of system side. You can always buy the unit in any configuration, either single phase, split phase, or 230 volts for international markets right. without the balance of system. But yeah. if you desire it to be integrated and easy out of the box, um, you, this, this package will come, uh, just as you see it here, with an integrated, pretty high-end bypass switch. Uh, if you ever need to work on the inverter or just temporarily pass loads through. So that's an AC bypass. AC bypass, yep. right? Just a simple one position change as nice. opposed to the toggle, yes, the old square, like square D toggle. Um, the AC 60 amp breakers, room for uh, the DC breakers, um, and also of course the uh, the battery disconnect. Right, so let's actually open, open sure. her up and see inside. That's the best part. Uh -huh. Some spring clips, nice feature, just hang the, the uh, face plate. That's nice. Leaves the meter intact so you can still work on it That's if you need really to. Nice. Couple of twists. Oops. There we go. Okay. Oh, nice. So the theme here is lots of room. Yep. Um, and we, we did a lot of uh, voice of customer research, talked to people at all levels, all walks of life. I mean, and the, the number one complaint was room for wiring. So yeah. we've spaced out all the uh, bus, bus bars that are included. So you've got plenty of room for bend radiuses and such. Um, real easy access to the relay card in the back. Um, 
Now this is really the only part that we expect to be field replaceable, um, okay. or that will need to be serviced in the field. And if, if that is the case, there's two screws that pop out, remove the connections, and it slides out from the back. Very nice. So, I mean, should be a 10 minute replacement process, um, nice. five minutes if you've done it once or twice. Um, and of course the power electronics stage, a little hard to see, um, but, but mounted up underneath the heat sink. And that's it for electronics. There's a couple of um, toroidal transformers that sit behind the heat sink, okay. and that gives us the surge capability. But what's noticeably absent is the big, heavy transformer that adds the weight. Yeah. Um, this is more of a high-frequency hybrid design that will just, um, you know, simply eliminate about 30 pounds out of think out of out of. Oh, that's product. nice. Um, and then we've, we've got our DIN rail here for that for the. Yeah, BOS. plenty of plenty of space for yep. the BOS expansion. Yep. Um, as well as space here. Now these actually were custom, custom made DIN rails. We weren't quite satisfied with the standard, uh, there was too much flex. Right. So we built a bit of a heavier duty extruded yes. aluminum DIN rail. So it feels pretty, pretty beefy and industrial, yeah. yeah. So this is great. And then we've got knockouts on, on both sides. Right, um, knockouts galore, um, batteries on the side. Um, Really, I think here, you know, you're talking about a couple of connections, maybe even some Ethernet connections to this four-port Ethernet switch. Right. But on the sides, there are four plates, not so easy to see from the front view, but yeah. four plates which are optional mounting locations for your TriStar charge controllers. Nice. Um, they can be mounted in either position. The whole locations match with the, the edge of the, the side of the TriStar, and so the, the routing of the wiring is, is as seamless and as uh, you know, clean as, as we could make it. Yeah. Um, you could, I suppose, in theory, add up to four, uh, but we've given you the space in this configuration for balance the system for up to two. Right. Um, right. But if you can, if you can accommodate additional breakers and such, there's really no limitation to how right. much solar you can add. Yeah. No. I, and I mean, it's nice to have the flexibility to, to put it where it works for your particular system. Definitely. Um, yeah. I'm even seeing some that you can go through the wall in the back. This is really nice. This this makes for a nice, easy installation. I see. Got the, um, the the bus bars for the the, the PV. You've mm -hmm. got it for your AC. You've got everything really clearly marked and gen sets. Some of the wiring and the labeling will change on the production sure. model. Uh, you know, you won't see this stainless steel knockout. It'll be a different variety. But yeah, we you know we anticipated that sometimes the battery is placed behind the wall in a, in a separate battery room, and you want to route the, the the wiring directly through. Sometimes it's below, so we have the, the knockouts there. Try to accommodate anything we might encounter in the right. field and, and avoid the call from the installer where they might say, why did you do it this way? You know, that's, uh, that you was the number one goal. You would never do that. <laughs> um, so, in summary, 4,000 watt inverter. 4,000 continuous. Uh, available 120, 240, 230. Mm -hmm. With or without the balance system. 60 hertz, 50 hertz, with or Correct. without the, uh, the breakers. Yep. That, that sums it up. Uh, fanless. Fanless. It's one thing to remember. Fantastic, Fantastic fanless. That's great. Well, thank you so much. Absolutely. This is Amy at the Alti store, and I'm here with Kyle from Morningstar.